welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, frat boy PJ is here. Are we live? We're Are live. We live. Are we live yet? PJ, PJ, we're live. We, PJ literally we're live. Live. belched the loudest belch I've ever heard into the microphone <laughs> right before we went live. It was beautiful. Cause, yeah. Cause he's a classy motherfucker. Yeah, yeah man. Uh, I don't even have pants <clears throat> on today. Ooh. Oh, nice. Wait, you wear pants? I no rarely pants wear season. pants. This is new and to when me. I do, there's something quite exotic. <laughs> there's something quite exotic. <laughs> What movie is that from? I don't know. That's actually I'm I a puppy. Well, what would I know? I rarely wear underwear, but when I do, it's something quite exotic. Shit. I don't know. I know what you that lost is. me on that one. Something that yeah, came Bill out. Bill Murray in the said it. Bill Murray said it. Oh. A Bill Murray film. Wow. That makes sense. Um, hmm. Bill Someone Murray, help us out. Um... Help us out in the chat. It's a Bill Murray film. I rarely is it Groundhog wear, Day? I rarely wear. Nope. I rarely wear underwear, but when I do, it's something quite exotic. I think I it, fucked that last line up, though. Man, I, I usually Chat, come on. Bill, Bill, Bill Murray quotes, but I'm, I'm, I'm missing that one. Hold um, on, let me IMDB Bill Murray real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to remember all of his fucking what films. I don't know them all. Caddyshack? No. Nope. Oh, that's a good no. guess. Caddyshack, it's gotta be... Damn it, Ash, uh, try again. <laughs> wow, I don't know how I can be friends with you guys if you automatically don't know every single Bill... Lost in tra translation? Uh, oh, Wayne Talbot? No. Stripes. Stripes. There he goes. Stripes. Wayne Talbot for the Wayne win. Way to go, genius. buddy. Way to go. Wow, no buddy. shock wow. here. No shock Dude, here. I, I haven't Wayne, seen... thanks for helping me out here. I am Stripes. with children here, and they <laughs> do <laughs> not know these movies. Call. That is a great Come call. Come on. That's a good movie, though. That is a good Stripes movie. Stripes yeah, is a Stripes good is movie. Yeah. Stephanie. Wow. And that's not what we're watching today. No. We're, we're going to watch we have... another hashing of the fucking <laughs> no. spider shit again. Here we go. Yeah. Another one. Oh, my God. we haven't seen enough another of them. Another one. Another is... one. Well, how well it is technically now? another this one. Is... This is a third rendition. Yes, that is true. Uh, just, Tobey Maguire, sorry. Andrew Garfield, and now Tom Holland. I, I, look, at, I, I never not liked it as a like kid. It. I wasn't yeah, a superhero guy. I had my best friend Rod. He was that was his thing. He was into Spider Man like no more. Every Halloween, that's what he had to go as. I I just didn't get it. I just I was. It's, I, I yeah no. It. Well, yeah. It may, I think it's not. Like your, it's, a, it's a more kid like character, right? It's more. I think mm -hmm. the character. Well, I was a kid comes. once. Drew, yeah, I was anymore. a kid once. Now you know that, cranky, right? You're an old cranky bastard. Fuck. But I'm back in the day, fuck. it was, you know, like the comic books. It was I'm an sort of like you're reading that. it as a kid and you're sort of putting yourself in Spider Man's shoes. Are, right? you, you know, are you really? Are you yeah, really putting your shoes in a whiny ass kid. kid? He's yeah. a high school kid, nerdy kid. Mm -hmm. He's a nerdy high school kid that gets picked on and then he gets bitten by a radioactive spider and gets bad yeah. powers. And he's the Suck fucking neighborhood Spider Man. Uh, yeah, yeah. Clearly, he wasn't from the Bronx. He would have just punched everybody in the face. Um, but I, I don't, uh, yeah, I know. It's uh, when you say it like that, it sounds good. But I, I just, I don't know what it was. I just, I, I, I just never intrigued. I never read the comic. Never watched it. You know, I, 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 I when I met Stan Lee, I would, you know, I held that back. I didn't tell him. Uh, it was good that I didn't. Uh, <laughs> hey, did he? Did he, made, did he made Spider Man. Who is Ditko? Because Ditko co made co Spider co creator, he's the co creator. Of he's the co creator. Mm -hmm. Okay, because yeah. he made Strange and Spider Man. Yeah, 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 and they're both in this film. Hey, do you know we have a what? life size cutout of Stan Lee at the studio? Drew, what? Spoiler, you haven't what? seen this. No, I haven't seen any spoilers. You <laughs> oh my god chat i've been dying all day i've been avoiding the internet i've tried so to avoid spoilers but i they will bring... say this i understand that there's like plenty of iterations of this fucking spider-man okay we have seen peter Parker. here's just uh, for everybody in studios everywhere we have seen peter parker studios okay everywhere? just it's studios everywhere i don't know what you're doing in your studio but fucking listen right like i don't care we've seen right. peter parker We've seen Andrew Garfield do it. We've seen Tom Holland do it. We've seen Tobey Maguire do it. All each great in their own way. Mm. Fuck off making Peter Parker movies. Make Miles Morales. Mm. Oh, wow. You're just going to lay it out there. Just let... <laughs> make me a Miles Morales film. I want to see that. When it came Man, out, when the video game came out, I was like, ah, oh, this is so fucking in, in, good. Into the Spider-Verse. Yeah. Did you... No, I do, but yeah. I mean a real-life version. We need, we need more. I would like so, a re I would like an act, live action. It wasn't version. real to you. That movie wasn't real. To you? No, it was totally real. It just wasn't <laughs> with live action. Uh, it was real to me. But that well, is probably I, the I best Spider-Man movie, hands down. I mean, which one? 
Miles Morales into the Spider Verse. Into the Spider Verse. The Spider -verse. I, I, oh, that I, was good. I yeah, did watch that. Good. that was good. I think Spider Man, Raimi Spider Man Two, was is the best Spider. -Man. That's so funny. Adam says the same thing. Spider Man Two is like the best I, one of them. I'm like, I actually nah. think mm -hmm. Spider Man Raimi Spider Man Two is was was the best superhero movie ever made until Avengers came. So that that I I, I oh, okay Spider -Man okay two Spider Man Two for me was the best spider superhero film made that I had seen until uh, Whedon's uh, Avengers, and that, that to me is like a perfect superhero film. Um, <clears throat> but I mean, so let, let's just set up let's just set up the Spider Man movie because. Oh wait, this, are the, you gonna spoil it? No, no, I'm just gonna set it up. Okay. I'm just gonna set it up. I'm just gonna like so this <laughs> is Spider Man No Way Home, following <laughs> in the trade of. Uh, far from home and whatever the other one homecoming so they uh, apparently sony has to have home in every new spider-man movie so uh this sets up it l probably right after uh the last spider-man movie where he fought M M mephisto not mephisto sorry mysterio, mephisto? Jesus. mysterio. Mephisto. um so uh so we're jumping in you know spider-man at the end of that at the end of that movie he fought mysterio mysterio reveals to the world who um Mm -hmm. that peter parker is spider-man right. and that uh it looks like spider-man kills mysterio so like he broadcasts that and so and like the drones were were tony stark's that was given to spider-man so there's like a lot of like logistics here if you hadn't seen if you haven't seen the last spider-man movie you're going to be completely lost in this trailer so okay maybe stop this go back watch that movie because it kind of right now, go now. Yeah, go no, I did, no, no, BJ, no, I come mean, back. No, oh, God. Seriously, we'll, in the next we'll five wait. minutes, we'll, we'll wait. Oh. I mean, we're just gonna wait. Yeah, that's fair. Can we watch yeah. it with him? We'll watch it live. Yeah, watch okay. it do it live. <laughs> I'm done. I think he's going to pee. Oh, okay, um, that's Because <clears throat> that's how we watch his film. Now. <laughs> he um, watches the abridged version. Okay, somebody out there sent a good. I got it. Video. Yeah. How was it? Did Did you like it? It was really good. No, I still don't like Spider Man. The time dilation uh, effect upsetting. in that bathroom is really strong. So every for every minute you spend in that bathroom, two hours goes by. It's really <laughs> It is. Um, all right. It's true. I'm happy so, to get into this because I have been waiting all fucking day. Yeah. So what are we so watching? Exciting. Um, <laughs> Mortal Kombat <laughs> 3. Yeah, let's jump into this. It's, it, it, this wait, wait, don't jump into it yet. I got to find it in these. Okay, okay. Yeah, open, like, open it up. Get it ready because I'll press play when you're ready. broke like internet records. So just so everybody knows, like the leaked trailer came online earlier yesterday. And then Marvel officially launched this trailer like at the end of the mm -hmm. day yesterday. And it's already broken like internet records. It's like t 10 million views in like two hours or something insane. Uh, it, it's like one of the most watched uh, trailers, Marvel trailers yet. So there's hype here. There's hype for this film. Okay. I'm very excited. The suspense is killing me. I'm ready. <laughs> you ready, PJ? No, I am now. Hold on. I'm trying to produce a shoot while we're doing this. Okay. Ooh, and yeah, count it down. Tasker. All right. Okay. Three. I'm pressing play in three, two, one, play. Oh, damn. He is in this. Okay. Yeah, he is. Oh, look at this. Oh. That's a good one. Some suggest so that Parker's powers include the male Aww. spider's ability to hypnotize females. I love Zendaya. Stop, come on. <laughs> really? She's in everything. Yeah, I love her. Can we just like, stay up here all day? It is so crazy down there. That's right, folks. Spider-Man is in fact Peter Parker. No, oh, no. Listen, I did not <gasps> kill the Mysterio. The oh, my God. Did. The drones not that are yours. Does any part of you feel relieved about all this? What do you mean? Now that everybody knows, you don't really have to hide or lie to careful. people. For the record, I never wanted to lie to you. Or have you tell someone that you're Spider-Man. Look at them face so cute. Oh now my god, this knows. sucks. But this isn't about me. Really. This is hurting a lot of people. I'm just how can you hate Spider-Man? I know. Oh, so this is a Halloween film. I'm getting Halloween vibes. So Peter. Is it? To what do I owe the pleasure? <gasps> I'm sorry, Father, you sir. Please, we saved half the universe so together. I, I like him. Is he in a hoodie? Okay. He's yeah. in a, he's in a <laughs> costume. The parka. With the cape. I'll allow it. And the sweatshirt. When Mysterio oh my god. Oh my god, is it the black suit? Oh! Huh? It is. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I was wondering if maybe you could make it so that he never did. Why is it snowing? Strange. Why? Don't cast <gasps> that spell. Oh, he's it's running the other time? Fine. I won't. Are you lying? Where the hell is Wong though? <laughs> He's like, Peace I don't know. Vacation. On vacation. He's just about to forget the Peter Parker Spider-Man. Wait, everyone? 
can't some people still know? Yeah, that's not how the spell works. So MJ's gonna forget about everything we've ever been through? This Stop is a fucking brilliant way to do this. I'm oh loving this all. Yeah, this is my best friend. Oh, my Aunt Mason really can talk. talk. I like the visual. When it gets to this part, like this is, uh, this <laughs> actually got my interest. The multiverse, I love that concept. Frighteningly <laughs> little. Look at that. Is a concept That's about cool. which we know frighteningly little. Oh! Electro there, what was that? Yes! You trying to live two different lives. Oh, the longer you do it, the more dangerous it becomes. <laughs> oh, wow. oh shit! Oh, this is the Green Goblin. Is that Willem Dafoe? Dude, dude, that was a oh, Green Goblin. For a Parker. Ah! Yeah. And, and. It looks Ooh. like he just shit in his spider suit. Yes. Dude, dog. I'm so it's fucking bad. excited. Yes. Oh, oh my god! Where's your trailer? Just take a moment. I'll be right back. Uh, you discuss oh, among yourselves. Clean up. Holy shit! Yeah, clean up in aisle seven. What the fuck? Oh my god! Dude, I'm so Alfred excited. Alf Alfred Molina. Molina? Is back. Yeah. He's back. He's back. He makes a good bad guy. He was so great. He was fantastic. And probably William Dafoe. Yeah. I mean, it sounded yeah, he like was. there's like a little cackle of the Green Goblin yeah. when, the, when, yeah. the, when the pumpkin mm -hmm. bomb uh, landed. Mm -hmm. oh my god. Mm -hmm. uh, Where's Toby? <laughs> oh, holy mother of God! If they actually get Toby and Andrew Garfield all together in this, I will lose my explode. shit. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. And he's got a black suit and it's a multi. I'm so excited. Okay. I'll just take a yeah, moment. It, yeah, that's interesting. So Adam Jensen posted auto talked with Spider Toby, not Tom. So he, when he's saying "Hey, hey, Parker," he could be speaking to uh, mm -hmm. the Toby Maguire. Spider-Man. <gasps> so I mean, so like the world's the oyster here. Like they're blowing this open, right? So true. When you when you introduce like uh, with I don't know whoever's seen Loki, right? Let's like back up here. So Loki introduced this idea of the sacred timeline, and then there's like timelines that can spawn off right. the main timeline. Mm -hmm. uh, so what this is doing is Doctor Strange has somehow broken either broken the timeline or sort of moved them them to into a different timeline where mm -hmm. everything's fractured uh so it's so it's super fascinating so we could see multiple spider uh men which so you we toby mcguire could re return as spider-man and it's semi-confirmed with like leaked photos as well as andrew garfield mm -hmm. uh semi-confirmed with leaked photos yeah that may or may not be real uh but... that would be fun that would be fun <laughs> if that happened <laughs> that'd be so cool it's, it, it's pretty yeah. interesting. It's pretty oh interesting. Since, since we do call this show Trailer Talk and we do talk about trailers. Um, mm -hmm. Do we? It starts off as a shitty trailer. I'm sorry. It's a pretty blame ass been there, bought the t-shirt, done that a million times trailer. And then when they introduce Doctor Strange, then the trailer turns into something really good. Like I, the trailer got a lot better and sucked me in towards the end. In the beginning, uh -huh. I was like, oh my God, really? This is what you came up with? Um, well, it's it, well. The beginning of the trailer is very much like emotional stress, right? Let's call it that, because it's like being outed to the public, having your face pa papered everywhere, people hating you, people wanting photos, people arresting you. Would it be um, sexist to say they do that for the girls? Would it be? What do you mean? Yeah, oh, to say that they, they've done that for the girls? Yeah. I don't know. I, so I didn't say it. Somebody back there said that. Yeah. I'll go get them. <laughs> I'll, I'll, go, I'll, go, I, I'll go get them and I'll punch him in the mouth. No, I okay. disagree. I disagree. Fucking I think it, it's about Ugh. Peter being a teenager and a celebrity. I feel like yeah. that's the crux of this, really, isn't it? And Zendaya and Tom Holland are all very young celebrities. And I feel like this hits hey, real. This is what home like. If I do get to see the movie theater, at least it's a part I know when to go to the bathroom with. <laughs> Yeah, at the beginning, <laughs> until he gets to Doctor yeah. Strange's house, which is covered yeah. in snow, and he's wearing a goddamn hoodie. Can we just a moment? I, I feel like the trailer hoodie. has a lot to do here, though. Like it has to set yeah. up, like why, why does he, why does the multiverse, like what, what's the impetus behind Tom or Spider Man or Peter Parker here wanting to erase, you know, things, right? So you have to kind of lean into that opening as well as kind of educate people, like what happened in the last film. You know, it's sort of this is sort of like doing the last time on. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. as well as sort of introducing mm -hmm. the plot a little, a teasing the plot of what this new film is going to be about. So well, it kind of has to do a little double duty here. 
Yeah, well, even, like, Doctor Strange. Like, the whole fact, like, when you first met Doctor Strange, he was all about, like, preserving the time, like, making things stay a certain way. And now he's just kind of like, fuck it. Like, (laughs) you want me to (laughs) change time? Let's do it. Like, (laughs) he's just... And it's kind of interesting, like, so I'm wondering, like, for him, like, mm. what's kind of changed with his mindset based off of all the other, like, I don't want to spoil anything for anybody that hasn't seen, like, all the Marvel shows, like, you know, but, screw like. Them. Spoil it. Screw no, them. I haven't seen it. Hey, if hey, they're not hey, caught hey. up by now, I'm sorry. Stephanie, we were friends. <laughs> I won't spoil it. But with everything that's happened on that, like, I'm curious to see where this lands, like, where everything lands timeline-wise in correlation to this movie. And, like, how much time has gone back mm-hmm. or gone between um, the second movie and this movie. Um, and then also, like, once he changes the timeline, like, is it different time periods coming together? Because, like, Doc Ock looked pretty <laughs> pretty young. Like, he looked about the same yeah. age. So I'm curious to see, too, like, how even all that plays together. And, like, if you're walking down the street, like, is one side, like, one part of, like, a different timeline? Like, I'm curious to see that mix. Because they kind of did a little bit of that in, like, Into the Spider-Verse. You start to see, like, the town glitching and and changing. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I'm assuming a lot of the same thing is happening here. Um, this is a really so... cool way to, like, to do that, though. Like, you got to give it props to fucking Marvel for doing that. Like, it's a cool way to bring in all of your actors from previous renditions yeah. of Spider-Man and... Like tie everything together and, and put like Doc Ock and, and Willem Dafoe and things you know um, Alpha Molina and Willem Dafoe and some of that back into the films. I think that's really cool and I think you're right, Stephanie, because um, Molina is definitely de-aged in this. It's CGI'd, so it must mm-hmm. be yeah. from and it, two. And I reckon then if that's true, yeah. then Toby and and Garfield will, will still be in this. Like I think they will both be. I think they'll both yeah. make an appearance at some point fighting those villains. Um, I will say though, um, to all the films who, we, uh, sorry, to all the films we judged before, I said it in the chat uh, regarding the villains: Sandman, Lizard, Electro, Green Goblin, and Doc Ock mm-hmm. are all somewhere in this fil- in this trailer. And I'm like, oh my god, that's amazing! And, yeah. and I believe it's Lily that's commenting. Hi, Lily. Um, yeah. She said, "Only one missing." They would hardly put Venom in this, would they? Well, I think she's talking about the Sinister Six. Uh, oh, I'm yeah. sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah I was thinking yeah, so, of Venom because of the new movie for Venom. Yeah, mm-hmm. we're, yeah, we're well, yeah, we're missing. We have three confirmed out of the six. So yeah, you have you kind of people think there's a dark three shot confirmed? where where something's happening. Um. It looks it might be the lizard, maybe maybe not. Um, uh, but you you definitely getting you're getting probably electro, oh, but yes. it's not blue lightning. So it, it's definitely a different electro than what was mm-hmm. in the. Uh, Andrew Garfield second film yeah uh, um, and it looks like sand it, it, it's, I think, it's, I think it's very I cryptic there's still I think I saw him yeah oh really yeah. you think you see the face I, I, yeah or not the face but just kind of like just kind of how you would shift into certain things in, yeah. in that movie mm-hmm. like I feel like I saw a little bit of that same kind of action mm-hmm. um so, I mean, who knows? Maybe I'm oh, just yeah. Lily said, um, <laughs> Lily said, sorry, she wasn't talking about Venom. She was talking about, like you said, the, the six, but she said maybe Mysterio or even Vulture. Yeah. And it's well, so it's, funny where I didn't think of that because they've already been in Tom Holland's version of this that I'm like, nah. Like, they're bringing back all of the other, like, villains. I, I don't know if they would just bring back the villains that they've already had in their own well, rendition they showed, of this, no? Didn't they show him... Um, Michael Keaton in like prison or something like that in the second movie. It's been a while since I've yeah, seen so it. Yeah, so Michael like, Keaton. They still in... kept him in it. Yeah. Michael so. Keaton's Michael Batman. Keaton. What are you talking about? Yeah. yeah Isn't he totally. Batman? My, Michael Keaton is everywhere right now. Michael Keaton is. is having a the year uh, of uh, he's, he's back. He's Best back. Batman. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's great. So Batman's in this movie? Batman's in this movie. Yeah. yeah. It's a DC Marvel crossover. <laughs> They're finally doing Deadpool's it. Deadpool is going to come in on the side and just rip the screen yeah. in half. You know how it is. You know, everything, they shot this during COVID and, uh, you know, we shoot, we've been shooting during COVID too. And it's just so many issues with COVID, but you know, like on the, on the, on the set of rookie, they're like running with like seven cameras, everything's handled remotely in for this movie here, they created this new technology where, so they could keep people, not put them together, uh, for the normal prep processes that they scanned the actors and then put the makeup and wardrobe on them in post-production. Really? Wow, what? really? It, what? Wow, really? Isn't that weird? That's 
So they, so they didn't, they all that, the, the system that they have is this innovative new technology where they didn't even need makeup artists or, or wardrobe people. They did it all in post. Wow. I mean, and then I they had this lighting system where they signaled when people could take their mask on and off during the filming, uh, yeah. when the cast and crew could take the masks on and off. So they would, they could wear the mask once their work was done. They knew they could pull their mask back up. Isn't that crazy? That's interesting. That is interesting. Yeah. But when you think about it, though, they, they go like they shot all the plates for this early, right? So before the filming started in early October, they just go around. So they're going all around New York shooting all these big plates. And then they go and film most of the shit in a green box and drop yeah. these plates in behind. Like mm -hmm. you kind of wish that you'd be there in the middle of New York and watch, you know, Spider-Man going from totally. building to building. Yeah, that'd be so the cool. The there, yeah. I'm but pretty sure I was did, in. That did not New happen. Filming. That did not happen. Oh, the no. first one. Pretty sure. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. I, I, and I'm wondering, I mean, there's some question. Like, some stuff looks really good. Like, some of the CG, like the Molina mm -hmm. de-aging doesn't yeah. look super great. Mm -hmm. Not uh, super yeah. great, now. I'm yeah, hoping yeah. that's not the final product. You know, the Doctor Strange stuff <laughs> looks really cool. Um, mm -hmm. and, like, the, the lighting in that looks really nice. It looks like they're doing some really good work. But there's still, like, yeah, I don't know. I, I feel like there's some unfinished parts in this. I am questioning, like... To your point, Stephanie, you brought this up as like, what what is with Doctor Strange? Like, he doesn't like based on his character growth just between like the first movie and Endgame. He seems to have like embraced his like role as like the I don't know like the the, the one who's the smart one, right? Like, hey, mm -hmm. there's an Endgame here, you know, I'm gonna stick to my hold my guns and do the right thing uh, because I know there's a way to beat you know Thanos, you know. Uh, and here he's kind of like, yeah, let's erase time and do weird things and like. <laughs> It, by the way, it's snowing in my sanctum, and I'm wearing like a fucking mm -hmm. uh, parka. Like he just doesn't seem like himself. Like it seems really lying weird, to so. his friend. Like, oh, I'm not gonna do it. No, you don't have to worry about yeah, that. Yeah, you're so right. Yeah. Is he is he yeah. a, a multiverse strange where he's just a bit more carefree? Or you're or being or... manipulated by someone? Um, Ooh, yeah, I, by who? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I, yeah, I don't know. Ah, I mean, it seems so. Like, uh, actually, Anduin has chimed in. She wants to. Wants to talk yes so, oh, on in erica let's have a listen uh, also known as daywin on daywin the uh, green knight rpg green knight RPG yes adventures. That, that's me um, hello hi hi <laughs> first of all i apologize pj that this is the first time you're meeting me because i'm a little insane about this movie wait are we live <laughs> are you live is this person live or is she recorded uh, uh she's pre-recorded she's lip syncing yeah, yeah, it's just fantastic. Just brain. Yeah. You're, you're just who are you voice. again? Who, who are you? <laughs> this is all a simulation. This, this is all a simulation. We know you. You're, hey, you're Daywin off of the Green uh, RPG on Retro Replay YouTube channel. <gasps> wow. Pleasure to meet you. That's crazy. This place is just full of celebrities. <laughs> popping up out I'm of not nowhere. I'm close to a celebrity. <laughs> So you're telling me you're a big fan of this? That's good. Everybody's allowed yes. to have their own opinion. Well, Anduin, break it down for us. What okay. Drew, what, what Drew thinks the Showgirls was one of the best movies ever made. It's <laughs> underrated, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> so just to preface, for those who did not see my super crazy tweet earlier, um, I was up till 1 a.m. Uh, watching this trailer several times in .25 because mm. yep. I wanted to know all the things because as soon as Doctor Strange showed up, that is not our Doctor Strange. For a couple of reasons. One, his hair is really strange. And if you look uh, at the pun comparison... Pun intended. Go ahead, sorry. Between, yeah, because if you look at the screenshot oh. comparison of Endgame versus what he looks like now, his eyebrows are completely different. Like, they're like twice the size. It's like he went to Sephora and got an eyebrow pencil. It's it's the CG. CG makeup now. It we probably PJ, is. PJ that is actually probably it, though. <laughs> but is, though. there's more to this. So, okay, okay. First Weird. of all, it's just really not in Strange's personality to be like, I'm yeah. going to go and do this super dangerous spell just to please Peter, who's having a bad day. Because, mm -hmm. come on, it, give him two years, everything will calm down, everything will be mostly fine. He's it's fucking Spider-Man! Like, Nothing's going to calm down? Are you crazy? It won't be as crazy as it is now. So what? So it's just weird that he would go and do this really complicated spell that could actually mess with time and multiverse when he was so careful about that mm. in previous movies. Something feels off. As yeah. well as I was looking at all of the sequences with Doctor Strange, he's not wearing his watch that Christine gave him. 
that oh. he wears all the time, he is not wearing that watch. It'll as well as he coach. still has the eye of Agamotto. The oh yes, he still does. By Thanos, Thanos crushed that in Endgame. Why is he, he wearing that? Yeah, he did he create a new one to like hold? Like, Maybe it's not the only one. Side of it, so, but like. So what happens if they don't answer these questions in the movie? Then I then will we make were... up my own answers. <laughs> good answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good if, answer. They, if they don't answer it, that's lazy filmmaking. Yeah. Right? Because there's just some weird stuff. Like, I'm sure we're missing some context with that weird train sequence because it looks like Strange is fighting with Peter. And mm. that's. A bit oh, I thought that odd. train sequence was from Inception. Yeah. It, it kind of looks no. like it. Does it does look like it. All right, yes, yeah. It does look like it. It does. Uh, it looks it's, like it's, it's from either, Inception. Either he's, he, uh, he could be using the train to kind of like showcase like what. what Because Spider Man's never seen. What, what is it when it Dr. Strange goes much. into the. Uh, the astral plane? Called? The astral plane. Like, Spider Man yeah. doesn't quite understand what's so, happening, probably. Yeah. Yep. So he could be using the train as, like, a like, hey, this is what this is all about. Here's what I can do. Here's what the multi But why do it on a super dangerous train? Because he's Spider Man. And why not? Why not look, make, make it look oh, cool? It's true. But I then, mean... <laughs> so they have been. So, to Pagan's point earlier, talking about Miles Morales, there were, there's a couple of theories. So you can see Feast is everywhere. Like when he's running through yeah. uh, this building with the black suit, he's running through what appears to be a homeless shelter. We've seen trucks and other yeah. things that are going to be featuring Feast. And that can sometimes also include Miles as well as when he kind of turns around and there's a woman in the car behind him. Yeah. There's a couple of theories mm -hmm. that, that could be Miles Morales' mom. She's walking around doing or driving around doing stuff for a political campaign. Or it could be like MJ's mom or some sort of lawyer. But I was like, lawyer with that fancy of a car? Not sure about that. But I do love the theory that it's Miles Morales' mom. And it's going to be just kind of like these small things popping in. Mm -hmm. So then Peter will eventually step aside. Because this is loosely based off of the uh, one, one More Day uh, Spider-Man comic book. Where everything gets erased. He sacrifices Mm -hmm. Parker sacrifices his marriage to MJ. Yeah. Mm. He's changing everything. Well, uh, just pause right there for a moment. I, and I wonder, so uh, let's put pull, pull the curtain back a little bit out of, like, you know, the MCU and just say, like, okay, there's there's two competing forces here as well. There's, there's Sony Pictures and then there's mm -hmm. uh, Disney, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So Sony owns the character, the movie, the character, the movie rights to Spider-Man. Yeah. Uh, and right now Marvel and Sony kind of came to some agreement where it's like, hey, we can share this world, we can share this character. Um, but I wonder, like, to your point, if they introduce Miles Morales and if they introduce, like, these other villains, like the Sinister Six that they've kind of been always wanting to do, it seems like, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. I wonder, will Marvel keep Peter Parker, the, the this Peter Parker, oh, sure. in future films? And then Sony can go do... Miles Morales, Spider Man. True. Yeah. Mm, very good. I heard they made True. up though. I, I heard they fought, broke up, but now they made up again. Yeah, like a Yeah, because of a drunk phone call with Tom Holland begging no, them to stop. fix everything. Yeah. I love Tom Holland. He was Holland. like, Please make of this happen. I want to do these things. I was like, Oh, these sweet angels. That's great. But um <laughs> I absolutely think that we're right. Doc Ock, I do not think, is talking to our Peter Parker. I think he's talking to Toby. Yes. Because with the everyone's talking about like the two sequences when he pops up with you know, his claws. It's like, hello, Peter. It's like, well, how do you know he's Peter Parker? Exactly. As well yeah. as they are two completely different sets. Mm -hmm. True, he, yeah. Doc Ock is not mm -hmm. on a bridge, but Peter is. Yeah. And so it's a completely different thing. So they're how not you, tied at all. How do you know Doc's not on a bridge? Because I looked at this and analyzed it like crazy. He has a he has a oh. fear of water after that one movie. He doesn't want to go Probably. near it. Probably <laughs> after that one he movie, might... he's like, water yeah. sucks. We're, Let's we're, not go we're, there. Like, we're, the the one movie where he dies at the end. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Remember, remember, remember superhero movies when they actually killed off the villain? Like, oh yeah, like, that was like a big thing. Like uh, they originally killed yeah. off the Joker and the original mm -hmm. Michael oh, Keaton yeah. Batman. They killed off Doc Ock. Uh, they killed off like it was sort of like a trend there for a while where mm -hmm. like these main villains they'd end up killing and now Marvel's sort of like no you don't kill villains you sort of set them aside so we can bring <laughs> yeah, them back for later, later to do things. <laughs> like in the comic books uh, yes kind of fun. you know going back to the whole Doctor Strange thing um, and what if they teased um, Doc, like it's not it hasn't happened yet it hasn't happened yet it's just in their little teaser <laughs> to oh okay I was like anything. 
but they like showed like in the teaser like two Doctor Stranges, um, and yes. like so I'm assuming it's like the evil Doctor Strange and then him. So I'm wondering too if some of this stuff that we're going to be seeing in What If, how it connects into because it's all the Marvel to. Cinematic. Is it? Yeah. So. Yep. Oh wow. That's oh, another thing. Like I'm, I'm excited to see. Like yeah. <laughs> cause... Well, and another theory. My very first thought, and I'm gonna semi stand by it. Secret Invasion is coming up next year. Mm. Could mm-hmm. Doctor Strange be a scroll, and that's why he's kind of like, I could totally do this spell. It's like whatever, make people forget things, and then he blows the whole thing up. And our real, our, our sacred timeline, Doctor Strange, comes back in Multiverse of Madness to fix the problems that Wanda, Loki, and this very suspicious Doctor Strange have broken. I ah, yeah. oh, it's so it's so so twisty. Yeah. Right? It's yeah, so yeah, twisty. It, 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 yeah, I, I hope they. I hope there's some good explanation because it seems pretty flimsy. That like, again, it seems pretty careless. Like Spider-Man's yeah. having a bad day. I don't like that people know my, that my reality. And then yeah. like, by the way, don't erase my 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 uh, Mary Jane my because I want her to remember. Like, dude, you can just tell her. After yeah, you this. could just tell her after that. Yeah, yeah like, that makes sense. That makes total sense. Yeah. Like, so there's like a little bit of logic problem I'm yeah. having. So unless there's like good like character development explanation. Exactly. Um, for why there's a lot of bad decisions being made uh I, i'm it's starting the trailer didn't what's your good. excuse <laughs> i'm just an idiot That's nice. what magic gave you the power to speak yes. <laughs> yeah. you don't know what that is it's from the green Knight rpg on which i replay thank you yeah. Boom. Thank, thank you where did stephanie uh, go so too. i don't know she's like peace out the dog was barking uh, <laughs> with Romeo. Uh, Ashcan, Ashcan's calling in with uh, he's like he yes. wants to add to the comic book. Yes, so, let's do ooh, it. Yes. Day one, we're gonna let you go, and then we're gonna bring in Ashcan. And, okay. Uh, thanks, Andrewin. <laughs> thanks. Great help. Thanks, Erica. Bye. Thank Bye. you. All right, okay. let's bring in. Let's see here. I'm ready to learn. Hold on, let me get my pen and paper. Yeah. I know. I'm hey. Ready. What's what is happening? Oh, there, it is, there it is. Sorry. There it is. Hello, Ashcan. Hey. hey. I Ash. also was very excited about this trailer I when I was watching it the first time. You no, I was like losing yes. my mind. Post in your background there, mate. Are you a Marvel fan? Actually, yeah, no. That's, yeah. I, well, I used to work in a movie theater, so I used to, like, snag some of the posters. I actually have Genius. a uh, Deadpool cutout right here. Nice. Nice. Where's Nolan when you need him? No, exactly. No, but going off what uh, Anduin was saying, this is ba- it's based off a run after the comic Civil War, because in the MCU Civil War that we got, um, Peter was on Team Iron Man, but in the comics, he reveals his identity to everybody. Like, that was his thing in the co- So, P- I'm Peter Parker, I'm also Spider-Man. So, after that, um, uh, Aunt May gets shot. <laughs> So he has to yeah. go to Doctor Strange to figure out how to do it. And he, Doctor Strange basically sends him to every single different timeline. So he starts jumping different timelines. And the black gold magical suit that everyone has been seeing, people are thinking is a special suit he gets from Strange that lets him jump through the different timelines. Ah. And uh, with all of that... It, Doctor Strange can help him, so he ends up talking to Mephisto, and like was said earlier, he mm-hmm. ends up giving up his marriage to Mary Jane. And I would argue the the logic where the if Mary Jane and Ned forgot, Mary Jane forgets about Peter for the most part, because all of his experiences with her as Spider-Man and before are going to be gone. So it's he's basically back to just like, Hey, I see. I've seen you in the hallways, kind of. Kind Good of deal. point. Yeah. Well, but but she did, she she kind of guessed that he was Spider Man even without him telling her, right? Like, she kind of put she she figured it out before. Yeah, I guess. You know, so it's I don't know. I just feel like uh, again, I'm I'm a little I'm, I'm a little wonky on the, the some of the logic in the, in the trailer, but I, I'm I'm open. It's a teaser, right? I mean, it, it's hard. But to... they do that though, where they mm-hmm. mash two shots together that don't go together in the actual mm-hmm. show. Yeah. So yeah, you get you got to get ready for that. Yeah, yeah. And uh, well, there I, are a I, lot of multiverse stuff happening. Yeah. With no, the totally. shows and even DC. 
And like every well, all the comic book stuff is like doing multiverse this, multiverse that. Like they've referenced the MCU in the actual comics now. So in the MCU, the the comics are a possible universe, and and so on, so forth. Everything is connected. It just gets kind of like it gets really crazy. Yeah, it does. And, uh, well, and I'm wondering. So I know uh, I, I, it just didn't bother me, but I know like in, in Endgame, a lot of people kind of like shit on the like time travel logic that happens in in Endgame. Uh, and you know, when you start to open up like something as complicated as a multiverse, I mean. Even in Loki, you're starting to get a little bit like, what the, what the hell's going on here? What, who's this guy at the end of the, the thing? And he's telling mm-hmm. us, and who's Kang? And what, what's going on here? Like, as a, as a fan, I'm nerding out. Like, this is dope. Uh, but as like, as, like, the average person, like PJ, uh, like, like, is, like are you, is, is, is this interesting? Like, or is it just too confusing? Like, what's going on here? You know, and, and so I'm wondering if, if, if Marvel can find that through line where like maybe there's shows like Loki that go really deep but then there's movies like Spider-Man that are just going to scratch the surface of it a little bit Mm -hmm. and maybe the the multiverses isn't as it's there there's only probably going to be about 10 minutes of multiverseness and the rest of it's more like Peter Parker doing his thing uh and fighting a bad guy here and there I don't know but uh it'll be interesting to see how they handle it See, I like the multiverse, but I actually have had this conversation with the guy who runs the comic book shop I go to, and we all are, like, in it, but we're also dedicated fans who spent years reading the comic books, and by, like, opening the multiverse, you've also made everything canon, and that kind of can alienate the casual fan, because now they need to go, they need to go read this, they need to go watch all the original Spider-Man movies and stuff like that, Mm -hmm. and it's the same thing with kind of, like, the new Star Wars stuff with the... If you want to know what's going to happen in the new Ahsoka TV show, you need to go watch the cartoon Rebels and being like, Mm -hmm. like having everyone have to go and watch all these different shows and movies and read these books that connect. It can be a little much for just someone who just wants to be a casual fan. I don't know, though. I mean, I I understand what you're saying, but I still think that kids who have only just seen the Tom Holland versions are still going to enjoy this film. Like a Mm -hmm. lot of the references will be lost on them. But it would still be an enjoyable movie for them to watch. Um, and I think Marvel will definitely find that balance. Like, they'll definitely find this fine line where they'll be like, okay, the references are dope for everybody who's seen them before. Um, so I, I can speak then. to that. So what, yeah. what was the one, uh, the WandaVision? Mm-hmm. So I, mm-hmm. I had a lot of, I loved WandaVision. And so I got good. a lot of the references. But I have friends that, you know, couldn't give a crap about it. They did mm-hmm. not get what the hell was going on in WandaVision. Like they, they just didn't know why it was so great. Like it was, they didn't, they didn't see it. So I don't know, like, you know, you have to make a great product all by itself. Can they do that? So somebody can just watch, this is their first Spider-Man that they see, or do you Mm -hmm. have to really, I hate, once I miss one, I I can't, you know what I mean? Like I, I missed the the one before uh, Black Widow and I was totally lost at the beginning of Black Widow, Widow. The, the Captain America one that you had to watch before Black oh, Widow. Civil War. Oh, Civil, Civil War. Civil yeah. War. I didn't watch that one. So I was like, what? Wait, mm-hmm. what? Who? They're not wow, talking? That's what? Actually what happened? One of, the, one of the better. You should go back and watch Civil War. It's yeah. really good. Yeah, I know. It's I know. Really good. I love that movie. Yeah. Yeah. All, the, all the Captain America films were really Yes. Great. Captain uh, America. Yeah, I, I, I'm a little bit, I'm, I'm, I'm on the fence. Like, I, I, dude, I, I'm all in for the multiverse. I think it's, I think it's awesome. I, I wonder though, is this, is this where Marvel jumps the shark to heart to the, the average audience, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Is this the mm-hmm. moment where people are like, like when you take your mom to go see a Marvel film, she's like, that was cool, but I have no fucking idea what's happening. You know, like yeah. they're just completely not enamored with it, you know? But are there but are there enough nerds out there like us that are just like mm-hmm. in it? To, and ab- apparently, based on the, how many yeah. people watch the trailer, there is. The yeah, there definitely is. is. Yeah, 100%, yeah. yeah, they're not they're not worried about the people that don't no. know. Yeah, I, they're not I worried one it, little bit. I do find it funny how DC and Marvel are both doing the multiverse in their upcoming movies for two separate reasons. Because for yeah. Marvel, it's like let us show you all these cool things that that you're big fans of, and DC is like. So we gotta fix <laughs> all the previous stuff that we've done. Um, but I, yeah. I thought the whole multiverse concept was used back in the comic book days just to stir shit up. Yeah. Like that's where that whole thing came from was back in the mm-hmm. comic book days when the comics were just getting boring, and yeah. then they just they just they threw the multiverse in so that you know Batman was fighting Batman. 
Like they were doing weird yeah. shit. Yeah. Well, it, it, uh, imagine a studio though. Like it, it's basically like so. J.J. Abrams did this when he rebooted Star Trek. He basically said like, "There's another timeline here," and it gives you the ability as a studio. The powerful like the storytelling technique is so powerful because n now it takes all the power out of an actor. So if they don't want to hire Scarlett Johansson again because she's suing Disney, they can be like, "Hey, it's the multiverse Black Widow. It's actually mm -hmm. this actor now." Right. Mm -hmm. And right. they can do whatever they want. They, they mm -hmm. didn't have to get Alfred Molina if the contract didn't work out. They could, someone else could have played uh, Doc Ock. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. And we would all probably still nerd it out. Right. So, yeah, it's actually it, there's there's probably a smart business decision here, too, to kind of say, well, like, we can do whatever we want now with our characters. They're yeah. interchangeable. You know, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. also, and that's I mean, interesting. Yeah. Also, I feel like like at the end of end or at end game, like the big final fight, you see everybody come back and you see that entrance and everyone was just kind of like blown away to see like those like amount of superheroes. Just imagine at the end of this phase, what that final war is going to be looking like, because now that you have all the multiverses here, you might have True. Come back. You might have mm -hmm. Andrew Garfield or all these others that we're going to be introduced to like come back. You could have tons of Lokis. I mean, like. <laughs> That's a lot to this... think about. It's, it's exciting. Well, well, you got tons of Lokis now in the in the in yeah. the Loki one. It's just like there's yeah. the Loki alligator. Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of want that frog. as a pet. I still Please. see that. Yes. Man. I still see yeah, that. Yeah, I, I started watching Loki, but Loki sort of turned into a procedural for me, and I was like, really. What? What's happening yeah. here? I, I love Lo Loki. I love was Loki. I Loki was that. actually it was so good. Uh, yeah. yeah, it was the strongest. Oh, it was good though. I'm not. I'm not arguing. It was good. Um, well, this is also their way of bringing in the X Men and, Fan yes. and Fantastic Four is confirmed coming yeah. up. Yeah. So. Let's hope they get it right this time. I would love that. I would love a good, good crossover. But I would love them you to know, like. You know, third time's the charm. <laughs> yeah. This is basically what they'll yeah. do: is bring back Chris Evans, and he'll be playing. Uh, Flame on. Uh, oh, I'm down oh for that. Oh my god. Yes. <laughs> I'm yeah, right, right? fucking name Flame America. on. No. Oh, yeah, no. I, flame I, on. Uh, Human Torch. Human Torch. Human Torch. Yes. Uh, that's his that's his activation call. Flame mm -hmm. on. Um yeah. because bad as those movies were, I did tend to watch those a lot cuz it's what we had. <laughs> <laughs> well, the re the reboot was kind of a failed what if. They're like, "Hey, we want to change change some mm -hmm. things up and i'm all for what ifs and reboots and doing a different tale but you gotta make a good story and mm -hmm. that was my one my yeah. one issue with yeah. that movie oh i actually haven't seen yeah. the reboot honestly i the only one i saw was the one with it, um it, it, jessica alba and chris evans and i was like huh yeah. it's, yeah. it's not I for let me my girlfriend see, <laughs> i, I let like, my girlfriend in to see it for free she walked out i was yeah, like oh was, you have a free a movie like, Huh. The the reboot the new one the reboot yeah oh really yeah, yeah she's you know, like first, you just can't even ask me what I remember first, about that movie the first like forty five minutes of that movie are actually solid and then it just completely yeah. falls apart uh, and yeah. it just just dissolves into nothing yeah uh, but it looks good I'll give it that it looked actually pretty cool yeah do you think Norton will make an appearance sometime as the Hulk again <laughs> no <laughs> no no even, even though bridge. technically yeah. He, right. he probably yeah. is MCU, right? Isn't it? It's like technically. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Well, because yeah. Abomination is in... We saw in that's movie. right, yeah, or, yeah. So, well, that would be kind of cool. I, I would watch that. Well, that's what I think Wong was doing. Wong was like, got packed his bag. All right, I'm going to go fight Abomination in Shang-Chi. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah Take I think care. actually is. Because you see some back. pillars in the background. Yeah. I that think, might yeah. be... Oh, that would be a cool reference. I like That'd that. Nice okay. Plan. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. <clears throat> Um, I thought he was. Good. Didn't he have a wedding to go to? He's probably getting married. Well, <laughs> abomination, the, well, the thing no. is, Abomination looks different in Shang Chi, so they mm -hmm. could say that the Ed Norton uh, Hulk multiverse. movie was a, was a multiverse it, thing. Yeah. Abomination mm -hmm. looks a little bit looks more different. comic. I accurate. mean, technically, that would make yeah. sense because I I think uh, Lily will be in the comments. Correct me here. Um, I think that is MCU. That like technically that was the first it, one of the first. It MCUs. is, but yeah. it's kind of like the black sheep. Oh, for sure. It was like, like, yeah, oh, like oh. Yeah. <laughs> what was that? Let's just put that aside. But then they could yeah. explain it with the multiverse, which is cool. I'm I'm very interested in seeing how they're going to incorporate multiple Spider-Man um, villains and things like that in this film, like and how they're mm -hmm. going to incorporate that multiverse here. I, I mm, with Marvel lately, I do feel like they're just pithering off to other series like Disney channels and stuff like that. Like, so it's like it'd be like another Loki or something. So I'm really wondering at the end of this, 
post credit scene? Are they going to set mm-hmm. up for something else? Are they going to set up for a new show? Well, Maybe. well obviously Doctor Strange. And, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, obviously yeah. that's going to happen. Is there just going to set up for that? Or... And I, free, I I read this in the chat. I think maybe it was Adam Jensen uh, said it. And he might be he might be this might be spot on. But is Doctor Strange the Iron Man of this phase? Right? Like Could he be. seems to be the connective tissue to kind of like as that that is sort of like bringing everything mm-hmm. together. Yeah. Uh, well, and he, and he, which means yeah. he's gonna die. Don't do that. Ah. Don't do that at all. Excuse me. No, <laughs> yeah. sir. You will sit in the corner. You will speak I mean, until you're. I'm speaking. excited, Doctor Strange. Is being directed by Sam Raimi, who did the first yeah. three Spider-Man movies. So I know it's, yeah, he's going to uh, yeah, be good. Same, same. I have a soft yeah, spot for Benedict Cumberbatch. I saw him live as Hamlet, and he was just oh wow, yeah. Was <gasps> it was the Before... best experience ever. I can't tell you. Before so we wrap up, I just want to ask: Has anybody watched that show, Brand New Cherry Flavor, on Netflix? Not no. yet. I've wanted to watch it. Any good? Is, is it good? good? Watch, watch the first three episodes and then it's... let's have a chit chat. All right. Okay. Yeah. I'll do. I'm gonna. I know what you're talking Same about. Time? Yeah. I mean, it's just uh, Ash has if seen I give it. you a spoiler, no, I'm not going to give you the spoiler. No. Let's no, just no, talk do, about. No spoiler. Let's just let's just watch the first three and then let's talk about kittens when you're done. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh no! Oh my God! Me and okay. Stephanie both had the same reaction. It's like, oh God, okay. Mm. Yeah, can watch and let's chit chat. Okay. okay, we'll do. Okay. okay. All right. Sounds perfect. <laughs> All right, wrap this uh, up, Droodle. Yeah, no, uh, Droodle. Droodle. <laughs> my uh, stage name. Yeah. Droodle Josephine. What's his porn name? When I'm on the pole. Exactly. Nice. Yeah, what are you going to do now that OnlyFans is over? Like, what are you going to do for money? It's right. upsetting for you, you know, honestly. Uh, I'm, I was hoping Hyper, to get replay, back on but, uh, no, bears are us. Dot com. He's going to start bears an onlyfeet.com. Com. <laughs> yeah. Bears are us. <laughs> bears, bears are us. Ra- my, are favorite, my favorite bear. Dot com. Yes. And it's me. <laughs> it's me. Cuddly. Um, well, that's Spider-Man. No way yes. home. Oh, you know what? Maybe the title. Maybe there's a, maybe there's a uh, signifier in the title, uh, No Way Home. Maybe instead of the multiverse coming to them, Maybe they're stuck out in the multiverse, trying to get. Mm. Oh. So, so instead of like, so instead mm-hmm. of all the villains teaming up against Spider-Man, I feel like Doctor Strange and Spider-Man may be hopping multiverses, and so that's we're gonna get these mini battles uh, throughout. Cool. The, so Maybe he'll land in one multiverse, and there's Doc Ock, and he'll land in another multiverse. Mm-hmm. There's Electro, and then another mm-hmm. multiverse. There's. It might work. Yeah. This is interesting. Cool. Yeah. yeah, I like that. Yeah. It could go down anyway. I'm excited. That's a good theory what. to end on. I like that. Yeah. It is. Mm. There we it go. Is. There we go. And we'll find out in December for the Christmas. Yeah. December seventeenth, the day or after when, my wedding. Or when someone it. leaks the entire script. So I know what I'm doing that day. Gonna <laughs> 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 go to the cinema. Honeymoon. <laughs> yeah, in the cinema. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, thanks, Ash, for joining thanks, us. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Ash. Thank thanks, Erica. Yeah, thank you. Thanks, guys. Be good. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.